Here we are in our uh, St. Augustines that we carry. We carry the Raleigh St. Augustine, which we're in here, uh, and Palmetto St. Augustine, uh, depending on what your different requirements are as far as uh, shade and whatnot. Uh, Raleigh St. Augustine is the only grass that we keep here at Houston Grass. We, we keep it in stock all the time. We sell it by the piece, by the pallet. It's, it's probably the grass that it's 99% it's of what we sell, and uh, it probably composes 95% of what our farm grows. Uh, it's, it's a giant farm, and uh, the vast majority of it is the Raleigh St. Augustine. Uh, I suspect for good reason. It's been that way a long time. If you look around in your neighborhood, more than likely, Likely, the Raleigh St. Augustine is what's probably in your neighbor's yard and probably in your yard as well. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the easiest to care for. It's the most forgiving, certainly, as far as fertilization, mowing, and things like that. Uh, I would say that uh, the Raleigh St. Augustine is, in, in general is just probably the easiest uh, for, a, for a homeowner. It, it is uh, just the, probably the easiest to take care of. Uh, as far as sunlight, uh, You've got the Bermuda grass on one end of the spectrum that needs 100% sunlight, uh, and, and then the the St. Augustines certainly can can subsist with less than that. Uh, the Raleigh St. Augustine, I would say, six hours of direct sunlight, uh, with, and, and then indirect sunlight throughout the day. Uh, so little holes in trees that that is what we would consider indirect sunlight. Uh, direct sunlight is say the morning or evening sun where the the sun is coming underneath a a tree from the, from from angles, uh, but. The Raleigh St. Augustine, about six hours of direct sunlight. They all prefer 100% sunlight, and they and they look their best in those conditions. But uh, St. Augustines can can do do deal with less sunlight than say uh, any of the Bermudas. Uh, if you, as far as watering requirements, the uh, d just like the rest of these, to have them look their best, we we say one inch of water per week, uh, preferably over two waterings, so a half inch twice a week. Uh, ideally, the 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 day after or right after you mow your yard uh the, the next morning you follow it up with a with a half inch of water and then uh three or four days later another half inch uh, if it's out of your hose that's about two hours in each area uh to, to put out a half inch if it's an irrigation system uh i i have found that about 15 or 20 minutes per per zone uh, on a sprinkler system is at uh, twice a week is, is is enough water for established grass to 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 do very well well. Uh, fertilizations, uh, just like all the St. Augustines, uh, about two to three fertilizations per year, and the St. Augustines can, can do very well, whereas you have, uh, comparing them to the uh, Bermuda grasses, you've got about twice that much per year. Uh, we mow all the grass out here once a week. Uh, it's kind of the minimum requirement for all these grasses. The good rule of thumb is you never want to cut more than a third of the leaf off at any one time. So uh, usually every seven days is kind of max. Uh, if you uh, do any, any any less frequently than that, uh, you really can cause a lot of stress to the grass. So uh, if you can mow about every five days on the on with the St. Augustine, that that's ideal. But every seven days is kind of the kind of the minimum requirement. As far as the Raleigh St. Augustine, I would say it's uh, it, it, we sell the most of it for a good reason. It's uh, it's 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 fairly forgiving and easy to take care of, and uh, looks pretty good uh, to, to to most folks. And I, I think that uh, it's probably a real good option for for lots of people.